I was very concerned for my family throughout the pandemic. Um, a lot of uh, the, the rules that we were asked to follow uh, stopped making sense and a lot of them seemed to contradict each other. Um, as a mother to a young child who was active in the community and, you know, in, engaged in, you know, educational um, programs and uh, physical programs, to have those completely removed from us and stripped away and not being able to socialize, uh, I, I wanted to be sure that the policies we were asked to follow were coming from um, a, a, a place of sound science and, you know, medical they made, they made sense that they were supported by, by research and science. Uh, and unfortunately, we just, it got to the point that the policies no longer made sense. And we really began to fear um, about the impact that these, these policies would have on not just us as a family, but especially on my child. On a day-to-day -day basis, uh, there were times where it was, it was very hard to, to maintain normalcy. My, my child is under 10 and at an age where socialization is really becoming a big part of her life. And um, due to choices that we made, uh, medical choices, choices about masking, um, which I had my own concerns about, um, we were excluded from, from activities, we were excluded from social engagements and striving to maintain just kind of a, a, a normal life routine on a day-to-day -day basis was, was very challenging at times. I think that we're, we're going to see a, a, a lot of um, mental health issues such as depression uh, in our younger generations that had to find a way to to survive the last three years. Um, I think that our governments are going to have to be prepared to really bolster up um, our, me our mental health supports and our mental health system. Um, I don't think we, we fully understand the scope of the damage that's been done. Um, my background, uh, my educational background was in psychology and kind of at the forefront of my mind um, throughout the past three years is, is what are the long-term effects going to be on our young children, um, especially young, young children, you know, one, two years of age who are learning how to speak, they're learning how to communicate, they're learning how to recognize emotion on other people's faces and take cues, um, you know, for their own behavior, to adjust their own behavior. When, when we have faces that are covered up and people can't communicate clearly. Uh, those are key developmental milestones and that's gonna leave a mark and I, I, I don't think we, we quite understand or have a grasp on the scope of the magnitude of the damage that's been done. Day-to-day -day life has improved now um, that a lot of uh, these restrictions have, have eased, thankfully. Um, Life has kind of taken on a, a semblance of some level of normality, but it's hard to deny that the, the past three years have, have not you know, done damage to all of us. Um, I find myself on edge now. Uh, I, I used to believe that you know, we, we, we could at least reasonably predict actions that our government would take, that our governments would listen to the people to help inform their policies and their decisions. I, I no longer feel that way. Um, I feel like after experiencing what we experienced for the past three years, I, I, I feel almost like a, I feel like the, our governments have forgotten that they work for us. And I feel like um, they now believe that they can restrict our rights um, with the, you know, the, the, the test for doing so being so low that uh, I'm, I'm afraid that what occurred over the past three years can and will occur again unless, um, you know, concerned citizens uh, stand up and demand more from our elected officials. I, 
I would implore them to ask why these elected officials who have been tasked to carry our voices into various assemblies and houses into the House of Commons, how they could have abandoned that responsibility to the extent that they did, where concerned citizens who had questions about what was happening were shut out from uh, local governments, uh, city council members, um, members of legislative assembly, assembly uh, members of parliament. Um, they, were, they were basically ignored. And I, I, would, I would love to have, I would love to hear the reason for that.